Hello, Assalamu alaikum, my dear students of class 6. I am your S4 Miss. Today, I am going to give a lecture on chapter 5 from your science book, Photosynthesis. So, uh, what is actually photosynthesis is and what type of things we need to know about photosynthesis? We are going to study from this chapter. All of the living organisms need food. If we don't take food, we can't be alive. So how we are preparing our food? We can prepare by our own food. But all of the food ingredients or products come from the trees or we can say from plants. So uh, how do how are the plants preparing their own food at the same time how the plants are helping the animals or the living organisms that can move from one place to another to be uh, to take their food or uh, to get food so we will study at first how plants produce their food if we want to do any of physical activities we need energy and we are getting this energy from food we eat different kind of foods carbohydrates grain cereals fatty acids proteins maybe it's plant protein or maybe it's animal protein and different kinds of nutrients vitamins and of course water for our livelihood in daily basis so the word photosynthesis what does it mean actually photosynthesis means the process by which green plants prepare their own food in presence of sunlight is called photosynthesis so why plant needs photosynthesis because they need to make food in the presence of sunlight and for photosynthesis process what is required is leaf chlorophylls and stomata question is why plants don't make uh, food in their root or in their bulb or uh, in their flower or in other parts of the body the answer is leaf is flat and extended it can absorb large amount of light and carbon dioxide within a short time Another most important thing is in leaf there are so much chlorophyll and stomata. Stomata means a tiny pore or tiny openings in plant leaf or you can say plant tissue. It is so much available in plant leaf and it uh, helps the leaf to exchange gas in between air and plant body. So, the chemical reactions happens in leaves, it's actually inside the plastic and uh, for making food, it takes the help from sunlight, car carbon dioxide from air and also water and it produces glucose for its, its own consumption and oxygen as a byproduct. Look at here a picture of chlorophyll. It is showing a plant leaf and the combination of chlorophyll. And another picture here we are watching the how the chloroplast is situated at a plant leaf and how the chlorophyll, uh, the atomic bonding of chlorophyll looks like. And here is the equation of photosynthesis. Here is the reactants and products, carbon dioxide, water and sunlight. And it is producing glucose and oxygen and all the process happening in the presence of sunlight. So look at here. What is the process of photosynthesis? We have already studied this. And another most important thing is that photosynthesis process occurs in two phases. The two phases are lighter photophase and dark phase. And here another, 
sometimes maybe you are not known to this terrestrial plants and submerged plants terrestrial plants means plants that are grown in only in ground or only in land they absorb water from ground through their root hair and submerged plants means aqua plants that can grow in water or any kind of aquatic body maybe it's hydrilla for photosynthesis sunlight is an indispensable factor sun is the main source of light so we are going to the next slide water absorption uh, we have already discussed this now look at here what really in a light reaction and in dark reaction that means in light phase and in, in dark phase what happens actually in light phase or when the sunlight is present light can produce uh, organic energy molecules ATP and NADPH and in dark reaction light is not needed instead dark reaction uses ATP and NADPH to produce energy molecules In your book, there is an example, sorry, an experiment of Hydrilla to show the gas exchange of plant. But unfortunately, uh, I can't show you now this because of the lackings of equipment. So we are going to study the next slide, significance of photosynthetic process for the animal world. Really, uh, we have studied how the photosynthesis process is helping the plants to produce food but what in how which way uh, animals are related to this and what is the benefit of it for the animal world indirectly or directly we are dependent on plant for our food for our shelter and for all of the living for all of the things we need to survive in this world by photosynthesis process, a plant can make food for itself and also for the animal world. So question is how? Carbohydrate, the primary food for living world is manufactured only by photosynthesis. Any living organism, whether it is plant or animal, needs food for being active and hardworking. Because there is a close relationship between food and respiration, energy is discharged by respiration. So plants and animals are completely dependent on respiration which supplies them with hidden energy. So if plants are not alive in this world, there will be so much carbon dioxide in the air and uh, plants cannot produce oxygen. And if we can't take oxygen, we can't be alive. No living things can live in this world without oxygen. In every second, we need oxygen. And uh, carbon dioxide is harmful for animals. Plants absorb this carbon dioxide and uh, essential and let off essential oxygen into the atmosphere. That's the way plants filter the environment and make it pollution free. So we have already known that our existence and human civilization is totally dependent on photosynthesis process. If we can't protect the plants, we, if we can't protect the plants, the human civilization will undoubtedly be ruined so it's our duty to plant more trees and to be careful and protective about the plants i think all of you have understood and if you face any problem in understanding please let me know and the exercise phase please try to do this by yourself and still now i'll try my best to cooperate you and thank you Best of luck.